Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a hot minute since we've done a makeup challenge, but today we are gearing up for battle because I have been challenged by the makeup challenge queen herself, Nikki Tutorials, to do the one dip makeup challenge. Wow, take a shot and pretend that I just said challenge in that intro. You know who probably killed this challenge? James Charles. I know his ass would just make this beautiful. The one dip makeup challenge is pretty self-explanatory. You basically get one dip into each product that you use and have to make it work for your entire face. So when it comes to foundation, instead of doing 50 different squirts to get it really full coverage, you get one. Instead of dipping into different eyeshadow colors eight different times to build up that pigmentation and color, you only get one and you gotta make it work for both eyes. I'm definitely somebody who loves to cake it on and layer on my makeup over and over and over again. So without further ado, let's jump in or let's dip in but um, to the one dip makeup challenge. That wasn't as funny as I thought. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Oh, jeez. Now, obviously, these are never meant to be taken too seriously, but whenever it comes to these type of things, I have to come up with a little bit of a strategy. We're gonna go ahead and get started with my primer first, and I'm gonna tell you guys while I do this, one squirt, that I definitely wanna focus on using a lot of cream and liquid products for today because I feel like they're going to go a whole lot farther than any powder-related products. Full coverage creams and liquids you can blend out and sheer out. Light coverage, you can't add Two. Does that make any sense? I have to use products that can build. <laughs> anyway, next step, I'm gonna grab the Huda Beauty foundation in the shade Custard. Now, I honestly have never used this foundation before. I know a lot of people love it. It's a cult classic and it's also extremely full coverage, which is why I grabbed it today because I only get one squirt, so. <gasps> that was a nice juicy squirt. Okay, I'm just gonna dip my finger in. I forgot to color correct. Shoot. Oh, I'm already wasting product. When it comes to tubes, if it's one dip, do I just like get to pull it out, right? Yeah. I feel like that's pretty easy, to be honest. There's a ton of product on there. I feel like the products in the tubes, like color corrector, concealer, lip gloss, are gonna be really easy, just because they hold a lot of product in the tube. <gasps> I also just put on so much of this color corrector, and I literally have barely any foundation to cover it up. I'm really not thinking this through very well. Let's try this now. Okay, foundation. Definitely put this one here. <gasps> I didn't put any on my neck. This is kind of fun. Oh no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, let's try to blend this out now and see. How do some people cover their entire face with one pump? <laughs> this is not good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, I really thought that I was gonna kill this. Okay, let me try some concealer. So let's there's see, there's a lot on there. Like is this is that fair game? Yeah. A little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, a lot of it over here. Okay, this is definitely already helping. Wow, we really do love shape tape. <laughs> Next step. Now it's time to contour. Normally I do use my, you know, Anastasia powder contour kit, but I really do feel like that was gonna be a mistake since it's not gonna go very far. So I am going to be strategic and use some more shape tape concealer as my contour today. So I have to be careful. Oh, and then the nose too, okay. Oh gosh, this is alarming. There's a stupid vein in my forehead right here. Like, that's so manly of me. It's making my forehead contour look even more unblended than it already is. Ew, why is that there? How do you get rid of that? It just looks like so like dirty. Okay, whatever. Time for powder now. Let's just set this in place before it's too late. I'm, oh, I wonder if I want to do any other cream things. Now, we're going to give a nice, generous dip into there. Great. Just putting this all in, focusing on most of that powder in my T-zone, which is what gets most like sweaty and oily. And then just using the excess on that puff to set the outside of the face. Okay, that little trick did actually work. Thank God. So now that I applied my loose powder and set my face in place, my next step is always one more round of powder, but it is like a pressed face powder. So I think that that's fair to do for this challenge. Um, but of course, we're only gonna get one dip. So I'm just going to grab a brunch. And I'm going to dip in once. I was gonna tap the brush to like remove some of the excess product, but I don't think that I should. Cause this is like one chance to like fix the face a little bit. Now it's time for blush. I'm gonna grab my MAC Peaches, which is my favorite blush. 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 I'm gonna grab my favorite blush, MAC Peaches. Maybe I shouldn't grab an orange blush cause I'm already looking orange. I'm gonna grab a pink. Okay, I'm gonna grab the Kylie blush in the shade Baddie on the Block instead. I really love this soft pink. This, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit better. You just get one dip. Normally I'd be sitting in there like, <laughs> I'm gonna switch the brush now. But just, just to give an example, you know? Let's grab this one instead. See, clean. Uh, this is not the 
worst that I've looked. It's certainly not the best, but it's not the worst. Now it's gonna be time for brows. So normally you guys know I live for a good brow powder. I think it looks so gorgeous and natural and nice, but today we're taking a nice road trip down memory lane and we're gonna grab the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brow. This used to be my Holy Grail product. I used to use like a freaking jar of these a week when I was doing my makeup. I just grabbed a brand new one, so it's nice and creamy. Now luckily for me, obviously I do have very, very thick brows, so I don't need to do too much filling in. I'm gonna try to make this work. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab into this. Can you zoom into that? Sure. There's a lot on there. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna start off with the tails first, because that's where I need the most pigment. Oh God, this is already scaring me. I'm bringing it in right to here. So that's one tail done. Now I need to do the other tail. Yeah, I mean, this is, okay, this is okay. Now I'm just gonna use the excess product to fill in the rest of the brow. <gasps> I mean, yeah, that brow is gorgeous. Okay, you guys, so the eyebrows are done and for only using one dip of the product, I honestly think that they look pretty good. They could of course be a little bit more cleaned up, like right here is really just irking me, but can't do anything about it. Now I'm just trying to move on to the part that I am most excited about, but also least confident about, and that is going to be the eyeshadow. For this challenge today, since it is Nikki's challenge, I'm gonna use her brand new Nikki Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay Palette. The shades in here are so, so beautiful. <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm not gonna really get to dip into them too much today, but we're gonna try our best to do a look with one dip. <laughs> I'm like so discouraged. I love doing makeup challenges because a lot of times, like, I'm good at that. <laughs> so this one is like, it's not, this has nothing to do with like skill really. This is just like not good. So in this challenge, Nikki did say that you can use more than one eyeshadow. So it's not like I'm literally just doing one dip into one color and calling that a day, but you do get the one dip for both eyes. So normally when I do my makeup routine, I do one eye on camera and then one eye off camera just to like save time and just because my brain works easier that way to like complete one project then work on another project. But with this, I'm gonna have to do both eyes at the same time. I'm gonna grab an M456 brush first dip into the shade Slasher. And this is gonna be my outer corner color. Okay, I'm gonna put this here and here. Oh wow, thank God Nikki made a pigmented shadow. Yes, okay. And now with that excess, I'm going to keep patting and like slightly blend this out. Oh yes, yes Nikki, thank you so much. This, I might be able to actually save this entire look. Okay, now I'm going to grab a fluffier brush and dip into a little bit of Mila, which is the warm tone brown. And I'm going to dust this right above that slasher. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the other brush, even though I didn't add any to it. I did not add an extra dip. I'm gonna use the excess and try to add a little bit more of that slasher in there. <gasps> I forgot to do the bottom lashes. I'll just do a different color. Yeah. I'll do a little pop, a little tap, tap, tap in. Well, I'll be honest, I don't really understand how I fell down this hole, so I don't know all I'm trying to rack it on my fingers. I'm going to grab an M441 brush and dip into Redemption, and I'm going to really just tickle this brush. <laughs> right into the crease to really warm it up a little bit, you know? Okay, this is looking pretty good so far. I'm definitely not mad about it, to be honest. Okay, I need to grab a big, big brush. I'm gonna grab the shade Roxy Catan. It's a nice dip into there. Now, oh geez, okay. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Ivy as well and add that to like the inner area, just to make that cut like a little bit more there. Now for the lower lashes, I definitely think I wanna go for a nice pop of color. I'm gonna grab a nice dense brush and grab a little bit of, honestly, I think I'm gonna use Mama Tutorials, so pretty. A nice thick dip into there and I'm just going to, that was a mistake. Amsterdam, let's try this instead. Well, this was, Maybe not my best. Now for the last step of the eye look, I think it would be cute to do a little pop of color in the inner corner. So I'm gonna grab a little flat top pencil brush and dip into Vla. What the? I mean, okay. That has a ton of pigment. Oh my God. Okay, that looks cool. I'm happy with that. Okay, you guys, the eyes are all on and are now looking honestly really cute. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Next, it is time for mascara. And of course we only get one dip. So I'm gonna grab the Benefit Roller Lash. It's gonna really... And I'm going to focus the majority of the mascara on my lower lashes because I'm going to put on falsies. Wow, I was actually able to get my entire lashes with only one dip. Come on, don't be shy, stick some more. Gorgeous, okay. Now it is time for highlighter and I'm going to dip into face from my palette, but I do get one squirt of setting spray throughout this challenge. And I do think that I wanna use it now to give the highlighter something to stick to. I'm gonna use my MAC Fix Plus Gold Light, which I love, but I will say sometimes these sprays 
are like, for example, that one are not like full. So I'm going to spray it a few times and then just aim it at my face when it's like a full one. Does that make sense? Okay, now I'm gonna grab my highlighting brush, really dig in there. Cheekbone, cheekbone, forehead. Forehead. Anything left on the nose? For the lips today, I'm gonna use this Dose of Colors lipstick in the shade of Bury Me, which is selected by Drew to match the rest of the eye look. So I'm going to just really pull it out there. That's one dip. Okay, you guys, well, usually at the end of the videos, I say something along the lines of like, well, after several hours of blending or after several hours of putting on makeup or after lots of work. This, however, is quite the contrary because this is probably the fastest makeup tutorial I've ever done. I didn't realize how much time that I must spend dipping under products, but I think that is this one dip makeup challenge all complete. When Nikki first tagged me in the challenge, I was definitely feeling a little bit nervous just because her and I are true makeup lovers. We are very used to doing multiple dips <laughs> into the products and just really layering on a lot of makeup to get to that final result that we all know know and love. And even looking in the mirror now, I definitely am not the happiest with my base. I still think it looks pretty blotchy, but I will say the brows and the eyeshadow and the lips really did pull it together for a completed look. And I think that I'm happy with the results. If you guys enjoyed today's makeup challenge, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your love and support. Also click that bigger subscribe button to come join the sisterhood. And finally click that bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, all my social media accounts are gonna be linked right here around the screen. And if you wanna text me on my personal phone number for new updates on videos, photos, merch, and so much more. It is 310-905-8746. This video is Sister Shout Out goes to Sister Isabel. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. And if you would like to be the next video, Sister Shout Out, don't forget to always retweet my video links when they go live on Twitter and also turn on my YouTube post notifications. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for dipping into this video with me today. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.